Looking over a map of deficient bridges, PennDOT spokesman James May says Pennsylvania is in the red. Drastic measures have to be taken, and more than 1,000 bridges, including many in northeastern Pennsylvania, could soon be off limits to big truck traffic. And what we're really trying to do is to slow down the long-term deterioration on these bridges. Looking at the list, businesses in the Moscow area of Lackawanna County could be hard hit. The bridge on Route 435 near Blue Shutters Restaurant could soon have a weight limit. And on Route 690 near the Moscow Elementary School, this bridge, which already has restrictions, could be downgraded again. That would cut off two main arteries used by Edwards Concrete in Elmhurst Township. Workers there say longer detours would mean big problems. First and foremost, we have, we have perishable load, so once the truck gets loaded, we have an hour and a half to get, get the load off the truck. If not, then loads garbage, you know, concrete, you know, sidewalks, driveways foundations. Edwards Concrete serves mainly customers in Mount Pocono and Scranton, but with new restrictions, they'd virtually be cut off from the electric city. We can't go down 307. Can't go down, uh, there's a weight limit there, down that hill there, off Music Street there, can't go down that way. So, there's no other way to get into Scranton. This is just one example of the new weight restrictions and the impact they'd have, but the natural gas drilling industry could be heavily impacted, and even school bus routes. PennDOT blames the lack of a new transportation funding plan. We've been warning, we've been saying that this is what it will have to come to if there's not funding. It's just the reality of budgets. If you don't have the dollars and if you don't have the money, you have to look at some other option.